This has got to be one of my new favorite pieces of lighting gear. It's the Amaran Spotlight SE. I bought it recently to use on a music video. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video, introduce it to you, how I used it, how you might be able to use it, and then you know, hopefully help you decide whether it's a bit of kit that you should consider picking up as well. I bought it with my own money, so these are my own thoughts. Yeah, let's get into it. The spotlight attachment is a, a light modifier which fixes onto the front of your lights, in this case with a standard Bones attachment, so that means it will fit on basically any brand of light with one of those mounts. The spotlight has a lens in it which focuses down your beam into a concentrated beam uh, and because of this it also allows you to control and shape that beam of light in ways that you just couldn't do with a more diffuse light source. That means it gives you some interesting ways to bounce light in smaller spaces but also to sculpt light for creative effect. Now these spotlight fixtures are nothing new, um, there's also an aperture fixture that's been out for a while, it's a bit more expensive, um, but what caught my attention with this particular unit is its price, which means that if you're not someone who's going to necessarily use it all the time, there's not necessarily that massive upfront cost or investment, but being able to have that in your arsenal is certainly going to you know, help elevate the stuff that you shoot. The focus control of the lens, it's not super precise. You sort of unscrew it and then move it back and forth and that allows you to focus or defocus uh, the spots. Getting those minute adjustments was not very easy and one of those limitations that you can work with. It's more than manageable considering the price of the unit. Further up the spotlight are the sort of like little insert paddle things and it's these that you use to essentially shape and cut the beam of your light so you push them in and out to get the sort of desired effect and we use this on our music video um, to help cut the light across the eyes of our artist you can see here um, and essentially sort of project this very narrow sculpted beam across her eyes a sort of slit of light which was really cool I really like that so it does give you really fine granular control and then you can also use that in conjunction with the focus control to either you know uh, project hard edges from your spotlight or soften them up by defocusing it So the other side of owning a spotlight like this is that it comes with these things called gobos. These are like little inserts that have cutouts in them, shapes, patterns, textures, stuff like that. They're really flexible in how you use them and you can focus and defocus them to experiment further with them. Um, and the selection of gobos that you get, you know, they're a bit of a mixed bag. There's probably like 10 that I'd say that are gonna be really useful in day-to-day -day stuff and then others maybe a bit more of a novelty and a bit gimmicky, like they've got the Aperture logo or the Amaran logo, stuff like that, which you're probably not gonna be using. There's definitely enough here to experiment with, and I'm sure if you go on Amazon, there's people selling even more variations of those little gobos. Again, be careful when you're operating this light. The gobos, they are made of metal, so they will heat up very quickly. And just in case you're thinking, you know, a fixture like this isn't just reserved for more creative production work. They can be super useful in uh, interviews, documentary and corporate work. You know, it's a tool that basically gives you a lot more control over light, allowing you to shape it, to project it, bounce it in very controlled ways. What I also want to show you is how this spotlight fixture can be used to light your scenes and what I mean by that is not for you know secondary creative effects but to act as a key light especially in small rooms or locations where it might not be easy to use certain light fixtures so in this example we've got Steph sitting on the sofa uh, we've got a reading lamp in the background as motivating our lighting it's a nice warm light uh, and because the sofa is butted against the wall there's no way we'd be able to you know insert a large light fixture in there, let alone one with a large softbox. And if we want to shoot in this direction with a shadow side of face to camera, we really need a light source somewhere up against that wall. So what we can do is we can use that spotlight fixture with the light on the other side of the room to beam a small controlled uh, sliver of light against that wall, and bounce it off that white wall onto Steph. With the end result being similar to that if we were actually using an LED source on that wall. Because we're bouncing the light, we also get a lovely, nice, soft, diffuse light quality on her face. 
it's again really easy to control where that bounce goes, uh, how powerful it is, the size of it, the spill of it, all these things by cutting and shaping the light. And in that way we get a really powerful, flexible and versatile lighting setup using just one single light, not needing any bulky uh, soft boxes, uh, not having to use any specialist rigging equipment, but still giving us the fine control we need to light our scene. Spotlight also comes in really handy when you need to backlight people, but you need to do it over large distances or you need to control the spill of that spotlight. So in this instance here, we were setting up for an interview inside a large theater space. We wanted the depth of the theater in the background of the shots, but because we were using the spotlight, we were able to position the light much further away and still get a hard edge light. And we were also able to shape and cut the light so that it only hit the subject and didn't spill over and glare into the camera or pollute the rest of the frame. So the Amaran Spotlight SE comes with either a 19 degree lens or 36 degree lens, you can choose from either. I got the 19 degree version. Uh, the difference between the two, it's a bit like a focal length uh, on your camera. The 36 will give you a much wider beam at the same distance as the 19 degree lens, which obviously gives you a smaller beam at the same distance. Uh, you could potentially still achieve the same effect with the 19 degree, but you'd have to move it a lot further back and you'd be losing some output of your light. If you are in a bit of a flap and you can't decide which one to get, don't worry because the lenses are interchangeable, which is great. I think they're about 150 pounds on their own and then just swap it out whenever you need it. So if you are looking to branch out and maybe experiment with some more complicated lighting setups, then this is priced really aggressively and definitely worth a look uh, because it could just help bring some more secret sauce to some of your productions. But the way that this one is priced just meant that it's kind of just at that level where you can sort of take a punt uh, and have a go of it. Anyone who's wanting to experiment with the lighting, looking to shape light more uh, and just have a bit more control over some of the lower output lights that you might have. This is a really cool affordable attachment from Amaran uh, and it's definitely worth your time checking out. That's it, thanks for watching. Uh, I do have an affiliate link in the description for this spotlight. So if you are thinking about picking it up, I'd really appreciate it uh, if you could use that link. Uh, obviously I earn a small commission uh, whenever you buy something from one of these affiliate links, but it costs you nothing extra. I'm Ed, thanks for watching and until next time, see you later.